Hi everybody, welcome back to Improvised Survival. My name is Brian. Uh, I'm coming at you from the Boundary Waters canoe trip area up in Ely, Minnesota. Uh, we're in a lake called Gabbro Lake um, next to Bald Eagle. I uh, just caught a pretty nice smallmouth bass. I'm sorry I couldn't get the video of me actually reeling them in, but I can't reel and hold this camera at the same time. Uh, I wasn't um, quick enough to make some nice mounts for this camera, so I have to do everything by hand. Next trip, uh, I'll definitely have myself better prepared. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. It's overcast with a, about a 10 mile an hour wind. Um, so it feels about 55 degrees, and here is the smallmouth bass. Uh, first off, that's the lure. I'm using a spinner with no tail. It's like a yellowish color, and uh, there's the fish right there. Let me pick him up. I'd say he's about. I don't have a. Uh, I don't have a ruler. My, f uh, if you go by my foot. For a judge, that's another four inches. So making that about 17 inch smallmouth bass. The one I caught the other day made this look like a little tiny kid. Uh, we ate them up, good eating. Um, a lot of people don't like these fish. They are a little bit fishy tasting, but it's okay. We want to eat some fish, so. Oh, now he's flopping around. Let me get this guy in a stringer. Now, today I'm going to show an alternate way of cutting up a fish. Uh, traditionally I was taught to fillet a fish by cutting underneath this fin, these fins, across underneath this fin, along the back, poking through. Um, I cut up to about right here, make my cuts, peel it back, and then I use the tail to hold on and I slide off the fillet. It's good you get a nice big chunk of meat, however, a lot of the fish goes to waste. So I'm still going to do a traditional fillet, but I'm going to show you one more step after the fillet um, to get more meat out of the fish. I'm going to actually do the fillet. You don't need to see that. I'm sure you all know how to do that part. Um, then I'm going to come back and show you the final cut. Okay? Cut. Alright, so I've gotten the fillets off. They're kind of rough because the rocks. I'm having trouble getting my hand flush with the fish. Um, the final steps, um, instead of throwing all this away, this is the rib cage here. There's still a lot of meat on there. So what my wife's family does is they cut the head off like that. They cut the tail off. Don't make fun of my 1980s Rambo knife, okay? It's just a gag, just for fun. I don't really use this, but I thought it would be a nice novelty to have it around on the trip. Okay, this is authentic 1980s $10 Rambo knife. So, okay, back to this. So I cut the tail off, cut the head off, make a little slice for this bottom fin, and pull. Okay, that's the bottom fin. Then the top fin. Well, let me use my, just cut along here, grab, and pull the dorsal But now right this off. final piece, we fry the whole piece up and then you use a fork and slide it between the rib cage, and you can get the meat right out of there instead of throwing it away. All of this meat that most people throw away can be eaten. Again, I apologize my fillets aren't cut very well. That's all good meat that should have been gotten on the fillet, but uh, you know we're out in the middle of the boundary waters, so I don't have a flat table to cut these on. So, okay, that's all for today. Thank you, and have a good day.